So how can you break the yo-yo cycle um, and never need to turn to a written diet plan again? Now, the yo-yo can be a really tough place to be in. Um, I have been here and you know, you kind of feel like shit when you've had a blowout day. Um, and as a result, because you're feeling so crappy, and I, I know I did this as well, it's really tempting to want to turn to those extremes again. It can be really tempting to just tell yourself, right, I'll just cut out all the carbs tomorrow, or you know, I'll just like train extra hard tomorrow and like hardly not eat anything. And I am telling you, those extremes, um, those rigid diet plans, you know, keto diets, really rigid diets, are keeping you stuck. And you can see how this is a big circle, right? And as a result, you're having these effort moments, you have food anxiety, you know, maybe if you've got an event on, um, you'll feel like you've blown it if you're still labeling foods, you know, if you've eaten something bad. And you know, um, when you're having these days, when you're on the yo-yo cycle, when you're having these binge days uncontrollably, um, you can really question your discipline. And I know I was here. I mean, like I stuck to my chicken and quinoa diet for like two years um, and I reached a point where mentally I just could not stick to it anymore um, and I'd started blowing out I'd really started labeling foods um, and uh, like I, I just asked myself I was like Ellie pull your head in like why can't you do this again like why aren't you just sticking to the written diet plan like you have um, in previous years and it just dawned on me that, that, that you just can't do that long term like reality is we have holidays we have Christmas um, you know you get sick of your meals and you want to have the power to be able to change that without hindering re your results or relying on written diet plans okay so if you are in this place if you are questioning your willpower or your discipline I want to say straight off the bat it is not you it is the short-term shit approaches that you have been turning to okay so sometimes you need to slow down to speed up and that's what flexible dieting is all about and in FFD in this online course you'll learn all about it so when you get your targets um, and look like this takes practice and we go through all of this in the course but you just get really good at knowing what foods to reach for um, to be smart with your food so say for example I know what I need to eat or what I need to reach for to keep my protein levels high and still fit in a burger and chips without going into a surplus um, this is stuff that will stick with you for life. Um, I know what I need to do if I have a wedding on, if I have a family dinner, um, if I, you know, if the only thing left in the freezer is a pizza, I know how I can still eat that without having to uh, uh, compromise or hinder my results. Um, and not only that, with an improved relationship with food, um, you'll just know what treats you need to reach for to be smart with it and not have food anxiety around it, not feel guilty um, and not feel bad for having that and trust me the feeling is freedom and this is why um, you're in charge you become in charge of your food if you get sick of a meal you know what to do to change it um, so that you can still hit your macros I mean a homemade burger is a big go-to dinner of mine um, and I don't need to rely on a written diet plan to change that dinner for me to not feel guilty about eating it so this is lifelong stuff um, and this is what flexible dieting is all about. It's a mindset shift, it's learning and it's uh, uh, the honestly the future of uh, dieting if you even want to call it that but honestly I see it more of like a, a really long-term sustainable uh, uh, food change. So that's how you break the yo-yo cycle, slow down to speed up cut out those extreme dieting shit that you gals have been turning to, rigid diet plans. I know it's tempting in the moment, but honestly, you don't need them. And when you get, get clued up with this, um, you'll never need to be on a written diet plan again. And if you are in the place where I know I was with my written diet plan, this is definitely for you. So um, make sure you are checking your emails and look out for uh, my next video, how to take action for long-term results. Um, and I'll see you then.